Hey there folks, this is Vlad with Review Retro Gear, and today I would like to review this item. This is the Climate uh, Double V um, Insulated Sleeping Pad. This is a two-person um, camping, backpacking sleeping pad. Um, so I kind of wanted to give you some information about it, show you how it sets up, stuff like that, talk to you about why I went with this one, um, and hopefully it's going to be an informative review for you guys. So. Um, a while back, I started looking for a two-person sleeping pad. Um, my wife and I kind of tried to use two separate sleeping pads, and it just never worked out super well. So I figured I could save some weight and add some comfort with it, like a, just a double-wide sleeping pad. So I went online to find one and realized there's actually not a lot of great options for um, like backpacking-style, lighter-weight sleeping pads. Um, a lot, there are a lot of them out there, but very few of them are insulated, and I wanted an insulated one. So, you know, we could keep warmer on um, colder nights, or, you know, if we just, you know, don't want to bring extra blankets up underneath, and, or have um, different, uh, you know, temperature rating sleeping bags, stuff like that. So I went with this one, um, one of the few double insulated sleeping pads, made by Climate, designed in Utah, United States, made in China. But it's got a lot of cool features. So um, when I first found it online, I kind of just bought it because it was just the best option there was. I didn't really have high hopes for it, but I've actually been using it for a couple years now and I actually like it a lot for a couple different reasons. Um, it is pretty lightweight. It's a pretty small um, size. So it weighs, it says it on here, 3.3 pounds, 1.5 kilograms. I mean, it's not light, but it's about similar to what you would get if you brought two sleeping pads. Um, uh, it's insulated, I like that obviously. And then it's also nice that it has this outside bag that doubles as um, storage for it and also has a valve here or just a hole actually that you use to pump it up so you don't need to blow into it. Um, a couple other features that are on here, um, actually says it right in the front. Um, it's got this like antimicrobial coating inside that prevents the um, moisture and stuff that gets in and out of that this, the pad to get kind of moldy and slimy and gross. Um, if you do ever blow it up with your mouth, that can happen. Um, also, it's pretty rugged. It's 75 denier polyester. Um, and then also is rated actually for four seasons. So I never actually tried it in the winter, but supposedly it's rated um, to four season temperatures and it has a rating of um our rating of 4.4 so it's not too bad um it can be used for both like car camping just tent camping backpacking stuff like that um i have we've carried this sleeping pad um on like a 30 mile backpacking trip so it's definitely doable with two people um you know you kind of split up the tent and the pad between you guys so here it is um it does get pretty small would you squish it down? Um, and that brings me actually to one of the downsides about it is that this bag that it's in that doubles as like a pump for it. I wish that this um, bottom piece had a cap because when you do, you know, you spend time to roll it up nice and tight and you put it in here, um, you can't actually make it airtight. So it kind of expands back out to like the, the full size of the bag. And you can see I can actually squish it down quite a bit more. Now if I could just cap that off, it would stay a lot skinnier, but then you, and you let go, it kind of inflates back up. So, wish that could be a little better. I bet you could probably figure out something to cap that off if you wanted to, but it doesn't come included with that. Um, okay, well, that's kind of the outside. Let's open it up. It's got a little clasp up top. It just kind of rolls open. And then it just slides inside. go so it's got this really interesting um like welded technology here that it's got which i also was pretty skeptical of because as you can kind of see all these little lines those are just like the plastics the plastic on the front and the back welded together and i thought that that would definitely cause like temperature leaks when you're sleeping on it but I have actually not noticed that, so I thought that was going to um, be a downside, but I've, I've actually been pleasantly surprised. So, 
pretty big. You can see it. I'm gonna give you the dimensions actually, I should be right on here. You can also look this up online. It is 74 inches by 47 inches and three inches thick. So it sleeps two people comfortably. Um, here towards the top, it's got kind of just a square design for your heads to, to lay. And then down here at the bottom, presumably to save some weight or something, there is kind of like a half, half moon shapes. I guess that could be the top or the bottom. It could be your preference. And then here, there's a valve to inflate it so you can open that up. And actually that bag pops right in here and I'll show you that in a second. So you blow it up there, and then over here um, is just a deflate valve, and actually this is just a hole. So that one actually has like a one-way valve, so it doesn't deflate as you're inflating it. And then this one is just a hole, you can open it up and deflate it. Um, one more downside, I will say, I think those are my only two downsides, is the, the bag. And this is that the way it's designed with all these baffles, it makes it a little bit hard to get all the air out completely. Um, when you're rolling it up and you kind of open that valve to let it uh, let the air out you kind of let it lay there for a few minutes to kind of let the air bleed out on its own then when you go to roll it up um, as you fold it you kind of the folds end up trapping air in some of these baffles and so it takes a couple tries or just a really perfect attempt to get all the air out usually I just let, leave a tiny bit of air in there because I can't get it all the way out so that's just kind of what you get with the way that it's designed. But I will um, give them credit. It actually works really well. And we've been loving it. So let's um, pump it up and I'll show you how that goes. Got a little bag. Let me get down here. So open up this side. There's the inflate. This little thing just pops in there. There's no threads. It looks like there are, but there's just kind of little ridges. But that just kind of snaps into there. And you're ready to go. So getting this thing down is a little bit of, a, of an art. Um, I mean, you'll get it either way, but you kind of have to like figure out how to open it up well enough to kind of capture air. So kind of, I like to just kind of stick my hand in there, get it real big, and then you kind of close the top and you start to roll. And that's it, you can just squish it down. And that's just kind of how it fills up. And then, Open it up again. Sometimes I blow in there to kind of open it up. But yeah, just like that. Um, and it takes, I never counted, but it doesn't take that long. Maybe like 10 of these or something. Let's count, we can count it. That's, this is three. You can kind of see how it's starting to fill up and how it's kind of expanding those baffles. The first time I pumped this up, I thought I was going to be returning this thing back right away because I was like, no, this is just like a gimmicky type of thing. And there's no way it's going to actually keep us warm. But somehow it does it. I've honestly never been cold. Um, and we've used this thing down to temps of probably like the low to mid 20s Fahrenheit. So that's, I don't know, minus around minus five Celsius or so. What is that, like six? Getting there. So you could also totally just try to blow it up with your mouth. Um, just make sure to take breaks so you don't pass out. And that inside lining, that antimicrobial lining, will keep it from getting gross. So yeah, look, we're at it like, what, seven or eight, and um, it's already fully inflated. I'm gonna give it just a couple more to kind of get it a little more rigid. It's kind of a half one there. And then at the end, you kind of feel it, you get kind of, you kind of feel resistance. 
you can kind of push through that and give it just half a puff more. Okay, so it's pretty firm. Um, with this one, you actually want it to be fairly firm. Sometimes with sleeping pads, you kind of want to leave them not hard because when you get on them, uh, they actually end up getting more firm. But with this one, um, you want it to be fairly firm because it just kind of it um, expands on into these little spots on the outside. So then you just pop this off. That valve keeps it closed. Just close it. There you go. And one more thing is that it kind of has a bit of like a side rail system. It's not as nice as some of like the other single sleeping pads that have like big baffles on the side, like the side rails that keep you in. But you can see there's a bit of like a, a raised edge here um, that will help you stay on the, on the sleeping pad at night. But there it is, fully inflated. Um, orange goes up, this black goes down. So let's stick it in the tent. The good thing is it's kind of flexible. You can kind of fold it in half. Shove it in. And there it is. And this is a, this is the Half Dome um, Superlight 3 Plus REI Co-op Tent. Um, and it fits, here's the fish at the end. There's plenty of space for a third person in there. So it's a pretty good size, but um, it will fit a standard two-person tent. That was my other thing I was trying to figure out was you can find these other pads that aren't too bad, but they're kind of giant. And if you try to put them in like a standard two-person tent, it kind of doesn't fit too well. But this thing fits perfect. So there you go. Well, folks, that's it. Hopefully that was informative for you guys. Um, if you're interested in getting yourself one of these, I will leave a link down in the description. Um, not sponsored. I found this myself, bought this myself. So honest review here for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. I always love reading those and interacting with you guys. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys if you're uh, trying to decide on a, on a sleeping pad for two people. As always, have a great day. Um, always enjoy this beautiful nature. Don't forget to praise God for everything that we have. And I will see you next time. Over and out.